gas dynamics uh, which deals with study of motion of gases and its effects and this fluid flow is divided into uh, six types this is steady and unsteady flow uniform and non uniform flow laminar and turbulent flow compressible and incompressible flow rotational and irrotational flow one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional flow for this subject uh, we are going to focus about the fourth category compressible and incompressible flow and next is uh, we have one derivation for this uh, steady flow energy equation and uh, here the picture depicts uh, the final equation of the steady flow energy equation that is g z1 plus c1 square by 2 plus h1 plus q is equal to g z2 plus c2 square by 2 plus h2 it deals with the total energy entering the system is equal to the total energy leaving the system we have one uh, data about this we have one drawing from this drawing we are going to uh, do this it is z1 and z2 from section 1 the pressure at entry is p1 and specific volume is v1 and the speed of uh, gas or fluid is c1 similarly u1 is specific internal energy z1 is a datum level to inlet height similarly for section 2 and uh, the steady flow energy equation for the nozzle and the diffuser this is separate equation this is c1 square by 2 plus h1 is equal to c2 square by 2 plus h2 the next is the velocity of uh, sound a the velocity of sound in which the sound waves propagates in a medium is called velocity of sound it is given by letter a is equal to root of gamma rt mach number it is root of inertia force by the elastic force it is given by rho a c square by k a where k is bulk modulus a is flow area rho is density of fluid c is the velocity of fluid also this mach number is given by uh, c by a where c is the velocity of fluid here fluid is gas or air and a is the sound velocity it is given by a is equal to root of gamma rt for air gamma is equal to 1.4 and r is a gas constant is equal to 287 joule per kg kelvin next is stagnation state the stagnation state is obtained by decelerating a gas isentropically to zero velocity at zero elevation then the stagnation state of gas is often used as a reference state here the stagnation condition it means the stagnation enthalpy is given by h0 uh, is equal to h plus c square by 2 similarly stagnation temperature is t0 is equal to t plus c square by 2 cp we have one stagnation pressure ratio equation this is in your uh, gas tables t0 by t is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by m square uh, this is the basic equation to solve the problems stagnation pressure ratio is p0 by p is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square whole power of gamma by gamma minus 1 stagnation velocity of sound a is equal to root of gamma rt if a is equal to a naught then it will be stagnation state if you are putting a is equal to a naught then we have to uh, do t is equal to t naught if r value is not given uh, from this problem r is equal to gamma minus 1 by gamma into cp also uh, it can be calculated stagnation enthalpy is equal to a square by gamma minus 1 plus half c square is equal to half c square max is equal to a naught square by gamma minus 1 and next is this picture uh, depicts c a curve c a curve has six different regions flow for fluid flow incompressible flow subsonic flow sonic flow 
supersonic flow, hypersonic flow. These are the five regions, and the sixth region is a transonic flow. It is in between a uh, uh, subsonic and supersonic. Uh, it has uh, the six regions. This is C A curve. Here, the compressible flow uh, is having the Mach number which is very very less than one, and it has a supersonic flow. Then this Mach number is greater than one for sonic flow. This Mach number is equal to 1 subsonic flow, Mach number is less than 1. For hypersonic flow, Mach number is very very greater than 1. Uh, we shown this picture here. This is called a C by A curve. And next is uh, Croco number. It is given by letter uh, CR is equal to C by C max. C is a fluid velocity and C max is the maximum possible fluid velocity. Then the Bernoulli's equation is P0 is equal to P plus half rho C square. Next is we have one important derivation is effect of Mach number on compressibility. This is the final equation we got. It is P0 minus P by rho C square by 2 is equal to 1 plus M square by 4 plus 2 minus gamma by 24 M power 4. For air, we depicted this equation. It is the final equation. And the next is Mach cone and Mach angle. Here, the tangent drawn from the point source S yes, uh, on spheres define a conical surface referred to as Mach cone. Next is uh, some tips to solve problems. Uh, first, we need to convert from the given data. We need to convert the temperature in Kelvin. If uh, they gave the temperature in degree Celsius, then we need to convert that into Kelvin. If they gave the pressure in bar, then we need to convert in Newton per meter square. Then for air, it is obvious gamma is equal to 1.4 and R is equal to 287 joule per kg. There is a unit conversion we gave. If speed is given in kilometer per hour, then convert it into meter per second. Then m is equal to c by a, where c is a fluid velocity, meter per second. a is a sound velocity, meter per second. Uh, since this is a ratio between these two uh, speeds, it has no unit. Then uh, c max is a speed of fluid and it is the maximum speed. It is called as maximum velocity of jet c max is a jet velocity of gas if the gas is in compressible fluid the next is stagnation temperature ratio this is t naught by t is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square this is in your gas tables and t naught is we need to find the t naught where t naught is a stagnation temperature h naught h naught is a stagnation enthalpy uh, we derived this uh, in our previous cases. This is H0 is equal to A square by gamma minus 1 plus half C square is equal to half C max square is equal to A0 square by gamma minus 1. Next is Croco number. Croco number is ratio of uh, uh, C by C max. Next is A. A is a sound velocity. Often it is called as local velocity. P is a static pressure, H is a static enthalpy, rho is a stagnation density, rho naught is a stagnation density. H naught is a stagnation enthalpy, P naught is a stagnation pressure. These are the, these are the notations that uh, we are using in problem. And next is how to solve a problem in ducts. Right, now we have one straight duct, the section 1 and section 2, uh, see this picture. We have on uh, section 1 and section 2. In this section, we are uh, having uh, static pressure, static temperature, stagnation pressure and uh, stagnation temperature at section 1 and section 2. Section 1 is entry, section 2 is at exit. Then we have to assume flow is adiabatic, uh, T01 is equal to T02. Then uh, find the value of t naught or t t naught uh, by t is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square first find for section 1 then similarly uh, for uh, section 2 
right first is t naught by t is a common formula for section 1 this formula will become t naught 1 by t is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m 1 square right now we have to assume t naught 1 is equal to t naught 2 because flow is adiabatic now we know t naught 2 now find the value of t2 from the given data they may uh, have the data about section 2's Mach number then we can calculate t2 this is a formula for solving and finding the value of t2 uh, similarly uh, find the value of p2 here we have to assume p naught 1 is equal to p naught 2 here stagnation pressure is constant then to find mass flow rate m m is equal to rho a c where a is a cross-sectional area of flow and rho is a density if the value of density is not given then we have to use p by rt uh, then for section 1 rho 1 is equal to p1 by rt1 rho 2 is equal to p2 by rt2 then we can substitute here then we can get uh, answer for m then for section 1 and section 2 uh, find this data if r uh, is not given r is a gas constant it is not given then r is equal to gamma minus 1 by gamma into cp or in terms of joule per kg kelvin for air take it as 287 joule per kg kelvin they have altitude certain height uh, from certain height of uh, 10,000 meter or 11,000 meter and um, jet engine flies then we have to find the pressure and temperature in your gas tables uh, some other problems they are not uh, uh, having R R is a gas constant they are not having a uh, R but they have molecular weight we have one formula for R uh, it has a relation between this molecular weight it is R is equal to universal gas constant by molecular weight here universal gas constant is 8314.3 and next is uh, to find the Mach angle this Mach angle is uh, given by alpha then formula for Mach angle is alpha is equal to sine inverse of 1 by m then next is critical temperature critical temperature is given by T star T star is the critical temperature wherever you are having star then it is called as critical temperature for critical temperature T star is equal to 2 T naught by gamma minus 1 and next is we are having one unit conversion for speed C is equal to 800 km per hour right now we have to convert this into meter per second now this 800 into 10 power 3 by 3600 then you can get meter per second then uh, to find the enthalpy drop it is given by del h this del h is equal to cp delta t or uh, del h equal to cp into t1 minus t2 in terms of joule per kg next is change in internal energy it is given by del u and this del u is equal to cv into delta t Mach number m varies with respect to area of flow it is given by da by a This is the difference between the nozzle and diffuser. For case 1, m is a Mach number, it is less than 1, then TA by A is negative. Right? This is subsonic flow. Since this Mach number is less than 1, then similarly for case 3, m is greater than 1, then TA by A is positive. Then this is supersonic nozzle. Similarly for diffusers, da by a is equal to dp by rho c square into 1 minus m square if you are giving this m is less than 1 then da by a is positive so flow is subsonic similarly da by a is equal to 0 then m is equal to 1 so no change so this is also sonic flow and in case 3 da by a is negative then flow is supersonic this is the difference between the nozzle and diffuser and we are going to consolidate the previous slide this first slide the nozzle this is a CD nozzle first slide is 
CD nozzle and the second category is diffuser here subsonic and supersonic nozzle and second diffuser is supersonic and subsonic diffuser it is related to the Mach number and the center section is called throat the throat section M is equal to 1 and this is formula for a maximum flow rate M max into root of T naught by A star P naught into root of R by gamma is equal to 2 by gamma minus 1 to the power of gamma plus 1 by 2 into gamma minus 1 this is M max M max in terms of kilogram per second and next is uh, how to solve a problem for section 1 and section 2 they have one straight duct then first solve it for section 1 first find for section 1 find a1 m1 uh, for finding m1 we can substitute it as c1 by a1 then after finding m1 you can do t1 by t naught 1 p1 by p naught 1 a1 by a star 1 f1 by f star if necessary find those things then next is from gas tables find the ratio of t1 by t naught 1 p1 by p naught 1 then find the value of t naught 1 and p naught 1 from the given data then equate it with t naught 1 to t naught 2 p naught 1 to p naught 2 then you can get t2 p2 d2 find datas d2 if necessary next is substitute this then find the ratio of p2 by p naught 2 then check the respective Mach number it is m2 this is the uh, steps to solve the problem for section 1 and section 2 if gamma is not given then we can get gamma cp by cv gamma is equal to cp by cv then the thrust developed is called f2 we can calculate by formula f2 by f star is equal to 1 plus gamma m2 square by m2 into root of 2 into 1 plus gamma 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m2 square uh, this is the throat section you are seeing this throat section for section 1 and section 2 then uh, you can get uh, the value of uh, m1 using your gas tables uh, you can get t star by t naught 